good morning students in this session i am going to teach you about impact of elastic bodies so this is one of the topic in kinetics of a particle that means study of moving particles with considering the forces acting on it okay so let us understand what is an impact of elastic bodies impact means sudden short term application action of forces short term okay within a fraction of second a force is acting means it's an impact okay sudden short term action between two bodies during impact the colliding bodies exert relatively large forces this is called impulsive forces okay during impact exerts a large relatively large forces when a body is subjected to some external forces the body deforms right okay so here when two bodies impact take place the two bodies will deform okay due to the application of the forces the body get deformations change in its di dimensions and if the body regains its original shape and size when the external forces removed means the body is said to be perfectly elastic bodies okay it has to regain its original shape and size when the external forces removed means it's a perfectly elastic body if the body does not regains okay it is unable to regain its original shape and size when the external forces removed means it is an inelastic bodies So elastic and inelastic bodies. Okay. Let us understand two bodies, right? First body and second object. This is moving with an initial velocity, and it is going to impact. And what happen means during impact, deformation takes place, and then after impact. the both object will move in the other directions okay let's solve here what happen means deformation take place right at the time of impact okay and then after impact it goes to original shape because it is an elastic bodies the time elapsed from the instant of initial contact of the contact to the maximum deformation is known as period of deformation we have two periods period of deformation and period of restitution deformation means at the time instant of initial contact to the maximum deformation that time interval is known as period of deformation and the time elapsed from the instant of maximum deformation to the instant of just separation of the particle is known as restitution period of restitution after deformation maximum deformation it start moving away so that fraction of time is known as period of restitution and the sum of the two will be the time of impact that means period of deformation and period of restitution together constitute time of impact so we studied about it impact of elastic bodies then let us understand the law of conservation of momentum law of conservation of momentum momentum is conserved momentum means we already studied right quantity of motion possessed by a moving body So the formula for it is mass into velocity. So here, let us understand the law of conservation of momentum with impact of two bodies. So here, body one, mass one, moving with a velocity of u one. Then mass two, moving with a velocity of u two. Then it is going to impact. okay after impact it is moving with another velocity right v2 first body final velocity v2 
second body v1 and v2 so it is moving so here in this v initial momentum and final momentum will be same before impact have an initial momentum and after impact here a final momentum these two should be same right initial momentum means m1 u1 for momentum of the first body then plus momentum of the second body m2 u2 which will be equal to the final momentum momentum of the first body m1 v1 plus momentum of the second body so this is known as law of conservation of momentum momentum is conserved before impact and after impact the momentum is same if the statement is if there is no external force acting on the system then the total linear momentum of the system remains constant this law is known as conservation of linear momentum okay then let us understand coefficient of restitution okay coefficient of restitution coefficient of resistivity is equal to impulse during restitution divided by impulse during deformation we already studied right deformation impulse and restitution impulse okay ratio of magnitude of impulse during deformation to the impulse during restitution is known as coefficient of restitution okay impulse means integral of force into distance so force into distance then we substitute it then we will get the value of e as coefficient of restitution as v2 minus v1 by u1 minus u2 u1 means initial velocities and v means final velocities so this is coefficient of restitution let us understand with these principles with the help of a example problem here in this two bodies one of which is 200 newton moving with a velocity of 10 meter per second and another of 100 newton is moving with a velocity of 10 meter per second move towards each other and impinges centrally impinges means impact so move towards each other initially m1 moves like this m2 moves like this then it is going to impact after impact m1 goes like this and m2 goes like this okay that's all so here find the velocity of each body after impact we have to find the final velocities and the coefficient of restitution is given as 0.6 find also loss in kinetic energy during impact so here let us find the value of masses from the weight okay from the weight weight divided by g we will get the mass of first body and mass of second body then initial velocity before impact first body move with 10 meter per second towards right i take this plus then before impact my velocity of second body is u2 is 10 meter per second but it is towards the negative direction of x axis so it is minus 10 meter per second the final velocity we have to find restitution also given coefficient restitution let us understand here we are going to use the two principles first we are going to apply law of conservation of momentum and next we are going to apply newton's law of coulomb that is coefficient of restitution formula with the two formulas we can able to find the final velocity is very easily so here we know the law of conservation of momentum as m1 u1 here we have two bodies right m1 u1 plus m2 u2 which will be equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 so we know all the masses m1 m2 and also we know the initial velocity is also u1 and u2 then substitute this we will get an equation here v1 and v2 will be the unknown values and we get an equation equation number 1 and after that we substitute apply newton's law of collision e is equal to v2 minus v1 by u1 minus u2 here e is given in the question then velocity u1 minus u2 is minus 10 then substitute this v2 minus v1 equal to 12 we will get another equation okay then solving these two equations 1 and 2 we will get the velocities okay velocity v1 is equal to this v2 is equal to this here v1 means 
minus that means it is moving towards left okay towards negative direction v2 is plus it is moving towards right that's all then here in this they are asking us to find also the loss in kinetic energy loss in kinetic energy means we have to find the kinetic energy before impact and we have to find the kinetic energy after impact so kinetic energy before impact means initial velocity we know the formula of kinetic energy is half mv square initial velocities are u1 and u2 so just substitute it we will get the initial kinetic energy then final kinetic energy okay final kinetic energy we will get final velocity we substitute the final velocity we will get the final kinetic energy then we lost for that just subtract from final initial kinetic energy minus final kinetic energy we will get it as 869.58 newton meter so this is a loss of kinetic energy due to impact